Previously on Dang and Rapa. The final class trial is about is, is gonna be slathered in pitch black despair. Climaxium sorrow. You're right. This is the final class trial, and this time it'll be fair. Let's begin the trial. Let's begin the trial. The mastermind stands exposed. It must pay for their crimes. Not all that's left is the looming mystery of Hope's Peak Academy itself. Let's begin the trial. Well. Alrighty. Alright. Finish preparations. Trial all rise. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. Oh no. <laughs> so listen up! If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win! But if you can't, then I win! And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Oh, please. Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm? Isn't that part of the secret? Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! We're starting off with a bang, guys. You have, to, <laughs> you have to start off. Oh my god. Root photo, interview, Monokuma file, places to check, headmaster's handbook. Oh man. Or e, e handbook. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I, too, have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. What? Well, hold on. Wh what? You chose Wait, not to work with us. On. This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? All three of them think they have... <laughs> that everyone around them is their enemy. Um, there's no doubt that this is a trap Monokuma set. He set up so well. Uh, so He set it up so we suspect each other. You guys have all been working Remember the group together, photo? haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. I have evidence of my own. What a coincidence. I, too, have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone is working. What? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It How doesn't. The three of us each have that kind of evidence. Boom! First try! Yeah! It's I love not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. Ah. Uh... But that can't be right. Because in my picture... See? I'm the only one not in it. I like to point out... I would like to point out... Junko's, Junko's face is hidden once again. And those are some massively short shorts. Those are some massively short shorts. And her face is hidden. Also, I think this proves that that Sakura was was lapping them. My guess is. I figured as much. In which case, Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence.
<laughs> oh, I love that. Mondo's hair actually looks different. Did he have like a mullet? I don't remember him having like a mullet. Uh, Junko's face. This one too, it's just like I thought. Yeah, so he's not in that one. Those look like Krispy Kreme donuts. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Secret or whatever, I don't care. Uh, you guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. Don't the other two have? But you're in my picture. Which means you probably took the picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? <laughs> the proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person isn't shown in the group photos. And that person is... The ones who got the photos. A gun! In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hero got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Why, why was there in a fish words, in the pool? Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. Also, I didn't press the X button, so I don't know why I just like skipped through that. We didn't even get to see that picture. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? <laughs> Figured it out, huh? I yeah, honestly, I think I, I have. That must be it. But how was that a hint? But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging at me? It's the fact that Jugo's face isn't appeared. Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Juko's face. Byakuya's picture. Hina's picture. Hero's picture. And mine. There's something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. It's gonna be something not Juko's face related. Something. Group photo has been updated to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Can you just forget about the photo already? Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Hmm? So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. But what are you talking about? There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But 
Now we have to use the pocketbook and the um, and heroes, lo the lockers, basically. Is the that lockers. really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? Also, where's Toko's photo? And Kyoko. Oh, Kyoko didn't go to collect, so did Toko go to collect? Their, her, her, her photo? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievable, but an entirely horrifying reason. Oh, Hamming Scambit. Oh, oh. Dude, I don't even know. Um. I'll say, like, memory loss? Or. I have no idea what this word is. I guess we could just try hitting stuff. Nope. Oh, amnesia. I don't know how to spell amnesia. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's like... Memory loss, you know, like what's that word for memory loss? Let's say that somehow we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> As if you expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? Yes. Yeah, we all lost our memories. That's just crazy. It's only natural they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. They can't move forward until they accept it. Uh, we gotta use the lockers, guys. The lockers. Make your argument. Good photo. Interview DVDs is another one. Kyoko and the Headmaster. A bunch, actually. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. So the idea that we all lost our memories is totally stupid. Obviously. Okay, Even if we don't want to believe it, if it's the truth, we don't have a choice. Otherwise, we all die in here. All right, so I'm gonna go You're with saying we all got spontaneous interview amnesia? DVD. Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. No, it's wrong. That one was pretty easy. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. Which makes me think this is going to be a long trial for the end of the game. Considering, like, that was, like, they didn't give us, like, another thing, another point to argue. This DVD does the same thing. You're not going to show us something indecent, are you? You secretly want to see it, Toko, you freak. No, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... I mean all of us, including you. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I... I lost my memory somehow? Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. 
How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! <laughs> to be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? What were the interviews about? The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? Watch the videos! We'd say no, obviously. Actually, we all said we could. Even me. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? Why would you? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. Just show them the videos. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. You don't remember choosing to live here forever. Or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. Genocide Jill will know. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? You sure are, cause it's all true! What? <laughs> I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then... I really... Yep! You all totally lost your right. memory at the same time! I was gonna say, we could use that whole thing with, uh... With Toko and Genocide Jill, because if she had agreed to doing that as Genocide... As, as Toko, I thought Genocide Jill said that she remembers everything between the two of them but Toko only remembers being Toko. This is all... making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? Oopsie! You figured that part out too, huh? Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. <laughs> How could someone just steal our memories? How? That room with the... Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. The room with a big machine in the middle of it. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? You just said How we. How happened doesn't matter right now. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive. The original motive. You mean the motive you came up with to try and get us to all kill each other? Making the world's most prestigious hopeful students and uh, making them turn into despair? That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Oh. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Okay, so you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else. So until we do that, e well, either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. Make your argument. Oh, man. Try Mukuro's profile is next. So who did it? Who killed her? 
Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course! They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um... What does make me so sure? Exactly! You're just making stuff up! There's no way the mastermind is here! The mastermind is probably a million miles away! Yeah, I'm gonna let go. And then we'll get it. Because masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? We we'll use the hit of room present on that last one. The mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma. Where is the mastermind? Oh. So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? I was thinking headmaster for some reason. They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um, I guess we could have done that one. What does make me so sure? Exactly. You're just making stuff up. There's no way the mastermind is here. The mastermind is probably a million miles away. Nice. No, <laughs> I'm so jazzed with myself. I There's stop and no think question first. that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? In the back of the data center, I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the Mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants. All of them high school students. And the only people that take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But they're not present here. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me. I'm not the mastermind. Well, it's not me. It's none of you. <laughs> I blame Makoto! What? Why me? Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed! Oh, I get it! The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? Aw, oh, nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. It's none, it's none of you. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. It's a pretty simple thing. In order for Monokuma to be controlled, there has to be somebody in the control room. And if everybody is sitting there, it's none of them. Yeah, well... How much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been the blow to her head, the stab wounds, the other wounds. I got it! All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. 
Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! Because... because she had all those wounds before she ever came here! No, um, so part of my theory of, of figuring it out, sort of, um, is that, uh, Mukuro, um, at the very beginning of the game, controlling Monokuma killed Junko. They stored Junko's body in that makeshift, um, makeshift thing or whatever. And then, um, yeah, <laughs> that makeshift morgue. Um, and then when they needed to, they, she, uh, Mukuro pulled out the body and laid it down for us. And then that's what started this whole thing. So those wounds that we have are actually the wounds that killed her, killed Junko at the very beginning of the game. Huh? How do you know that? Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means, you know... You're wrong. There were no markings on her when she got here. She denied me <laughs> before I could even say anything. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. You're so sure we're going to deny you. Why bother saying it in the first place? Alright, so I'm gonna probably go Mukuro's Ikasaba's profile for this. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it... Obviously, she got all those wounds in battle! Are you finished? You didn't deny me this time, see <laughs> uh, You made me go all cutesy! Don't worry, there wasn't anything cute about it. The victim was the ultimate soldier who strolled across a thousand battlefields. Is that how she got all those wounds? Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been in a, a hundred different battles. So, when you think about it, obviously, she got all the... No, it's wrong. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To uh, be denied so completely... Actually, it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because of all of Master's training! Anyway, so we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Nice! Mukuro's fatal injury has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. But if that's what killed her, then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? That's exactly what it means. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? 
Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. I, I still like. I still think I, I, I figured this out. I figured this out, but I don't really want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. So yet. who was it that attacked you? The identity of the person who attacked me. I can't think of anyone else. Oh, I mean, we, if I say Mukuro, it could be Mukuro, but I think it could be also be the mastermind. I'm pretty sure it is the mastermind, but I feel like they want me to say Mukuro. We'll say Mukuro for now. Mukuro had been dead for so- oh, that's right. Well, I don't know. I better think about this Shit. again. It's alright, it's alright. The identity of the person who attacked me is the mastermind. I got it! Shoot the one with my who gut. attacked me was the true mastermind. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask. I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. But I was wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? Oh, I don't know. No, there's no way Mukuro is the one that attacked me. Even if I didn't see their face. If you compare what we know about Mukuro to the masked attacker... It should be obvious! What? You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot? Or perhaps the left foot? Oh, no. Or could it be <laughs> the hips? What? Whoever attacked me, they didn't have something Mukuro... They didn't have something... Mukuro definitely had. It should be proof enough that the one who attacked me wasn't Mukuro. You never saw their oh, face, man. right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? It's the left hand, right? Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Nope. You wound me, Makoto. Words can cut as deep as a blade, you know? You interrupted me while I was talking. One point deduction. Shoot. You think about it one more time. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. Go back to Mukuro's I'm telling profile. you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And 
What is this? I'm sure the tattoo is on her left hand. Is it the right hand? Or the left hand? Nope. You never saw their face, right? So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba! You're wrong. Oh, man. I don't know what to do with Even this one. without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. I thought... Oh, oh? shit. And what <laughs> is this other part? Is it the right hand? I think it's the right hand. Or the left hand? Uh, nope. Maybe the right foot. No? I got the wrong hand wrong. I was... I was, uh... For some reason, when I was picturing the body, I was picturing it flying down the opposite direction. Shoot! We're at the, oh, sorry. We have, so we have to contradict. Let me think about this. We have to contradict. You never saw their face, right? We have to contradict so what you he's can't have claiming any that this is. Idea who was under that mask? I'm telling you yeah. now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. We have to contradict that You're one. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face. But none There's of these I don't think work. Part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Yeah, so we'll use the hand. Okay, oh. now I'm thinking. <laughs> what is this other part? Now is I'm thinking. The right hand? No, shit. Or the left hand? Maybe the right foot. Okay, woo. Or perhaps the left foot. Or could it be the hips? The hips. Whoever attacked me, they didn't have something Luke Rose definitely had. They didn't have a right hand. Okay, <laughs> the, All right. Yeah, that that hand is up you like never that. Saw their face, right? So they didn't have the tattoo. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I don't. I didn't even put I'm that together before. You now, it was nice. No, okay. Not. See what happens when I use my noodle. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly, a representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. And there was no such tattoo. I don't know why I didn't put that together so like no so long ago. The person behind the mask was Mukuro. Yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. But that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, you know, someone else, right? Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so <laughs> it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure, it couldn't have been any of you. But what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. No snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? <laughs> if you insist, I don't mind showing you. Yeah. Huh? Show me what? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. Ooh. Before anyone could say anything. Yoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. It was more than just a little burned skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. Yoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. Whoa. My scars should suffice as proof. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Well, obviously. On that note, on that note, see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Stop by Premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here for more Danganronpa content.
And until next time, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye-bye.